So who does that really affect, voter ID? It affects, uh, in 2012, African-American voters in Wisconsin were 1.7 times as likely as white voters to lack a driver's license or a photo state photo ID. So they're almost two times as likely as whites to lack a driver's license or a state photo ID. And Latino voters were 2.6 times as likely as white voters to lack such ID. More than 60% of the people who requested a photo ID for voting from the DMV have been black or Hispanic. Well, all you need to know about photo ID as far as who it helps is who wants it. Right. The Republicans. Democrats don't push for this stuff. Right. Well, and what the Republicans claim is that there's, you know, voter fraud on the part of the Democrats when the instance of voter fraud is well, it's predominantly yeah. actually Republican voter fraud. The opposite is actually have. So it's not funny you bring up voter fraud because this law also targets students. Student, student IDs sure. for most public and private universities and colleges are not accepted because they don't contain signatures or a two-year expiration date. The standard student ID at only three of the University of Wisconsin's 13 four-year schools and at seven of the state's 23 pi- private colleges can be used as a voter ID. So uh, only three out of the 13 colleges, state colleges, their voter IDs are acceptable, and only seven out of the 23 private colleges state IDs are acceptable. So the majority of college kids aren't able to vote in Wisconsin. And you say, but wait a minute, why would they want to suppress the votes of college kids? Aren't there a lot of college Republicans? Yes, but the majority of college kids vote Democratic. So they don't care if they suppress college Republicans votes too, because they're going to suppress more Dem. So they don't care if they disenfranchise even their own voter. We take the way of vote away from you. I don't care. We're going to take the vote away from more of my enemy. There's still a net positive to them. Net positive. So Robert's point about, this is to your point about uh, where the real voter fraud is. This is from the nation. The the defendants could not point to a single instance of known voter impersonation occurring in Wisconsin Mm -hmm. at any time in the recent past, wrote Judge Lynn Edelman of the U.S. District Court in Wisconsin. It is absolutely clear that Act 23 will prevent more legitimate votes from being cast than fraudulent votes. It is clear Mm-hmm. that the exact opposite of what they're claiming is going to happen. And it's clear, of course we all know that. We just saw the guy admit it on television. We don't know exactly what this is about. And it's happening out in the open. But you know who are, who's the bad person? Is the 50-year-old kid with a joint in his pocket. That guy's a jerk. That guy's a jerk. But these people who are literally doing the most un-American thing you can do, take the vote away from people. Not, not a, there's but, a little by, bit, by the way, the other thing, the other element that we're not talking about right here is that uh, the, all of these states that are suppressing the vote are trying to destroy early voting, vote yes. by mail, absentee voting. All kinds They're of all of, the, all of the things that would allow, say, a student yeah. who lives out, uh, right. lives away from their, their district to vote or which might allow an elderly person who's infirmed who can't make it to the polls. All those things or, that would allow for those those people to vote as well are all also uh, under deep, deep threat. Weekend voting, uh, national holiday for yes, elections, sure. things that would in, it would empower You remember Barack lower... Obama pushing for a national holiday for voting, right? No, no I don't think not, I ever remember a, no. him bringing that up. The current the Democrats current... are such spineless pussies, and that's, this is proof of it. The Republicans will, in public, in the light of day, on a Sunday afternoon, walk into a television camera and say, we're suppressing the vote of our opponents. And Barack Obama won't stand up and say, we need to let make sure everybody can vote. He won't do that. He won't say, let's have a national holiday for voting. For God's sake, it's about time. He won't do that. None of them do that. The Democrats, they're not Democrats. And you know, Will, Bernie Sanders will do that. Let me just... Uh, Wisconsin had historically run elections better than almost anywhere in the country with consistently high voter turnout and reforms like Election Day registration in place since the 70s. So Wisconsin had a great election system, high voter turnout. That all changed when Scott Walker and the Republican legislature took over the state in 2011. And let me just say this. So when Scott Walker goes on television, do you think the reporters hold his feet to the fire? How do you not bring this up every time you interview Scott Walker? You still suppressing the vote of poor people in your state? So when he goes on with George Snuffleupagus, you think George Snuffleupagus says, wow, you're horrible. You're suppressing the vote of the people in your own state. They, you got elected and now you're taking the vote away from people? No, and do, do Democrats don't even say that. They don't even, Democrats don't even hardly bring it up. So let me just conclude with this. 
This is from a this is from a Republican. It's just I think sad when a political party, my political party, has so lost faith in its ideas that it's pouring all of its energy into election mechanics, right. said Republican State Senator Dale Schultz, Schultz, Schultz a rare dissenter. <laughs> he said this in 2014, quote, we should be pitching as political parties our ideas for improving things in the future rather than mucking around in the mechanics and making it more confrontational at our voting sites and trying to suppress the vote. So they know what they're doing, and they don't care. So again, the party of racism is also the party of su voter suppression, and the national press will treat it like both sides do it. They're, everyone's the same. They're just equal. One side isn't evil or more evil than the other side. No, they're odd. no one's doing any of that. They're, I, and we can't I don't call see anyone a, of, a liar. Go ahead. I don't see a lot of Democrats trying to suppress the, the new, nouveau riche white vote. I really don't. <laughs> I don't either, Robert. I don't either, but uh, Chuck Todd will act like Republicans and Democrats are equally uh, good Americans. Man, we, we really got to suppress the Klan vote. And they pretend that they're putting out the scourge of voter fraud. They, voter they, all, fraud they so easily trot out that phrase as if it's a, an epidemic all over the country where people are showing up and pretending to be somebody else. And it's happened in single digits single, in the last 40, Single digits. Years. 0.06% is a conservative estimate yeah, that's of extremely the, the number of uh, voter fraud incidents. But compared to the number of people that Jimmy's just been saying, it's in, like how this doesn't count as a crime against humanity. So how this is a people are, like, this, this is like yeah. a crime they're doing, but they're doing it in the legislature. So they're just making it legal. Like the way they made legal bribery okay for politicians. Now this is legal. It's to suppress the vote, to go against the Constitution, to do a thing that should be illegal. Voter fraud. This is legalizing voter fraud, but in the other way. Happy birthday, America.